Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix your input lag in Valorant. And this guide is going to be functional in the upcoming acts of Valorant as well. So make sure to stick around to the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the mouse settings and for that simply search for mouse settings on your PC. Once you're over here, go down to additional mouse settings and right over here, go to pointer options. Set the motion to the sixth tick that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure that it is over here and uncheck pointer precision. Pointer precision is basically the movement of your mouse. If you move your mouse real time, the mouse will move the exact amount of distance on your screen. With pointer precision enabled, there will be a drag which is significantly much more than you do on your mouse physically. This will impact in input latency. Next, search for keyboard. For that, simply search for keyboard on your PC and then head over to keyboard settings. Once you're over here, make sure to set the repeat rate to the fastest available and the repeat delay should be on the third tick over here. Once that is done, click on OK. Also, if you guys want to rid of all of your input lag and packet loss and ping issues, I would recommend you guys to use no ping from the link in the description below. You can download it for free and once you open it up, you can see an interface just like this. Now over here, you can look for your game. I literally look for Valorant over here. Once you find it, click on select the server. And once you're over here, you have to look for the nearest server for you. For me, it's going to be in Mumbai. So I'm going to be selecting Mumbai 02 as it's giving me the lowest ping. As soon as I click on optimize, it will start one click optimizing my game the best part about no ping is the settings gear over here which offers you turbo games which improves your keyboard response time and a dedicated boost fps section if you click on that and enable all of these options you guys can feel significant fps boost and reduced input latency this is just a one-stop shop solution for all of your issues so i highly recommend you guys to check out no ping from the link in the description below because i use it myself and i have seen the difference next step head over to device manager on your pc over here go down to system devices and you'll find a lot of devices over here the first thing that you want to look for is the composite bus enumerator simply right click and disable this device then look for high precision event timer and do the same on this device as well both of them will help you to significantly reduce your input delay next over here look for numeric data processor and if that is available for your pc you have to disable that as well and the last thing should be SM bus controller. If you have all four of them, you have to disable every single one of them. And if you don't have them, just disable the ones that are available on your PC. Next, you have to go into network adopters. And over here, you'll find your ethernet cable. Right click on that and head over to properties. Then go over to power management and then make sure to uncheck allow computer to turn off this device to save power. This will fix all kind of ping issues and packet loss issues that may also be causing input latencies in your game. Next, you have to go into the universal serial bus controllers and you have to look for your keyboard and mouse. Once you find it, head over to power management and uncheck allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. This will help you to save your input latency as well. Next step, you have to search for indexer options. Simply search for indexing options on your PC. And once you're over here, head over to advanced and then click on rebuild click on ok and this will start rebuilding your index from the base this also causes input latency while you're in the game and doing so will help you to fix that simply close it next step is disabling sysmain and for that simply look up for services.msc on your pc and over here click on s on your keyboard and look for sysmain right click on that and then stop this process if that is already running then head over to properties and for the startup type, set this into disabled, click on apply and then click on OK. Sysmain is not really important for your PC and disabling so will help you to fix all kind of input issues. Next, you have to look for print spooler. If this service is available for your PC and you do not use your printer, you have to right click and stop this service. Next, you have to look for delivery optimization and stop this service as well. This is a major service that adds up to your input latency and disabling delivery optimization will help you to optimize your input latency. If in any case, this does not fix your problem or it causes any issues on your PC, you can come back over here and start this service once again and restart your PC after that. 
Now, once that is done, simply close your services. Next, create a restore point, and for that, simply search for create a restore point on your PC. And once you're over here, look for your local disk C. Click on create and name it something that you can remember. I'll name it Valorant and simply click on enter. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Valorant input delay pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. In this pack, I have left four simple folders. First one is the input lag fix in which I have left general latency fix. Over here, you have to double click and run the disable transparency and it will disable transparency effects on your windows. Next one is lower input lag registry and if you edit in notepad, you guys can see the settings that it is going to change on your PC. These are essential in order to make sure that you get the best input latency possible. Once that is done, head over to the second folder that is keyboard latency fix. And once again, I would want you guys to comment your keyboard specs down in the comments below. And I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from in this list. There are a lot of buffers and it depends upon the variant of your keyboard. Next is mouse latency fix and over here I have left disable pointer precision globally. And this is the same thing that we have did in the mouse settings. Once again, all you guys have to run is a fix mouse delay over here and this will help you to fix all kind of mouse delay and it will set the correct coordinates on your mouse to ensure the better performance. Head back to the main folder and now go over to unwanted service and start disabling all of these service except if you use any bluetooth devices. Other than that I would highly recommend you guys to disable every single service over here and all of them will help you to significantly reduce your input latency. Open up revert registries folder and right over here you'll find in all of these files. Once again, if you guys want to revert any of these registries back to normal, you can do it from here. Third one is batch files in which I have left disable memory compression. Simply right click on this as administrator. And this will run this simple command on PowerShell which will help you to disable your memory compression. Next one is fix input delay batch file and over here if you open it up in notepad you guys can see that it disable process mitigations and add a few registries that will help you to optimize your pc's performance it also helps you to disable power saving features on usb and ethernet ensuring that you never lose any inputs because of these features last is the latency tweaks.cmd if you edit this in notepad it will help you to disable dynamic tick disable high precision event timer and also synthetic timers once again we have already did it so it will just override that but other than that it will do all these commands without any input and it will do it automatically for your pc next is the useful programs in which i have left timer resolution.exe right click on this as administrator and in this simple program you guys can see that my minimum resolution is 15.625 and maximum resolution is 0 0.500 what i have to do is simply click on maximum and this will reduce my current resolution it will help you to set the optimal polling rate on your keyboard and mouse and it will help you to optimize the response time of your hardware simply close it Close this and now open up Valorant. Okay, once you're in your game, in the general settings, you'll find something called raw input buffer. I would recommend you guys to turn it on, then scroll down until you find something called network buffering and set this thing to minimum. After that, head over to video settings and go into general, scroll all the way down and for Nvidia reflex low latency, if that is available for you, set this thing to on plus boost. After that, head over to graphics quality and right over here, I would recommend all of you guys to disable all kinds of quality. I would like to tell you guys that if you have kept it to high or medium, that adds up to your input latency. So the best bet would be turning all of them to low to ensure that you get the best performance possible in the game. After that, close your settings and now you can enjoy the best input latency in Valorant. I hope this guide helps you out. If it does, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. I would like to thank you all for 200,000 subscribers. I seriously appreciate your support. We have also launched channel membership. So if you guys are not a channel member yet, consider getting the membership. And we'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.